The president's last visit to the Electric City was in August of last year. Newswatch 16's Valeria Quinone spoke with one business that hopes the president will stop by when he's in town. Hank's Hoagies on Woodlawn Street in Scranton was named Biden's favorite hoagie spot in town when he posted about it on social media in 2016. The 27-year-old business has a life-size cutout of President Biden right when you walk in. Owner of Hank's Hoagies, Tom Owens, says the business is always glad to see the president stop by when he's in town, and they'll hope he'll come by once again. It's really exciting because like, you know, he came here and he was a senator, then he came and he was vice president, and now he's president. It's just uh, it's kind of crazy to think like a president of the United States comes just to our little place here. We're, we're humbled by it. Pictures from President Biden's previous visits can be seen all around the family-owned spot. Owens' wife and co-owner of Hank's Hoagies, Lisa Owens, says President Biden has been visiting the spot since they opened in 1997. She remembers the president recounting memories of his childhood years buying goodies when this was a candy shop during his childhood. When you speak with him, he's just like a regular um, person and he's so kind and um, just always willing to talk to everyone around. It's just like a regular day and he just talks to everybody that comes in. So we just we love having him. The Owens say the president's visits are always a surprise, and they'll only know when the Secret Service shows up to prepare for his arrival. The last time he grabbed an Italian from Hank's Hoagies, his usual, according to the owners, was the morning he was elected president in 2020. He was here at like 10 in the morning, came in with two of his granddaughters and uh, 200 of his closest friends because everyone was following him around. and. Uh, Oh, it's really neat. Tom says he thinks the Scranton community will be glad the president is visiting Scranton again. Valeria Quinones, Newswatch 16, Scranton.